Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you. Can we read together one to go? And it shall come to pass. Somebody say it shall come to pass. In that day, say it is today. Hallelujah. Let's read it again. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is our anointing service. Somebody say, because of the anointing. I want to share what God gave us this week because of the anointing. Can you say one more time? Say, because of the anointing. Please sit down as I bring you God's word. My father. Because of the anointing, there shall be breakthroughs in your life today. In the name of Jesus. I came by the power of the Holy Ghost that because of the anointing of the service of today, yoke shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Yoke shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Everything that is not of God in the lives of God, people shall be lifted by fire. As it shall be lifted by fire. As it shall be lifted by fire. In the name of Jesus. Oh, shako kete bada. What is the anointing? Number one, the anointing is the manifested power of God. The manifested power of God. Hallelujah. Second definition, what is the anointing? Somebody say trademark of supernatural. The trademark of the supernatural. Hallelujah. Number three, what is, an anoint what is the anointing? As the establisher of royalty. Hallelujah. Say the establisher of royalty. When the anointing comes upon a person, royalty is established. Hallelujah. Is somebody hearing me today? The fourth definition, the anointing is the manifested reality of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The manifested reality of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. When the anointing comes upon a person, the Holy Ghost begins to use the person beyond limitation. Am I speaking to somebody? That shall be your testimony in this service in the name of Jesus. Everyone needs the anointing. The anointing is not just for a pastor. Kings are anointed. Hallelujah. In 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 13, the Bible says, and David was anointed. God we anoint you and his presence will rest upon you today in the name of Jesus. The anointing is what makes men stand out. I heard a story before. Papa said it. He talked about the richest man in Africa. I think he should be the richest black man in the world now. Dan Gute. A man of God by name Benson Daosa. He spoke over his life. Why? He came to a flight. The flight was full. And he said, I have guests. They must return. Christians started murmuring. A man that was not a Christian stepped down with his PA, said, let the man of God go. And the man looked at him. He said, who are you? He said, I'm a businessman. He said, you gave up your seat for me? Do you know me? He said, my name is Benson Idauda. Idauda. As you stood up for me, he said, this world will stand for you. He's still not a Christian, but he's making waves with money. Is that because you stood, there was an anointing that set the man apart in life. The anointing opened a paved way for him. I came because there is an anointing on my head. I have come to distribute it upon your life. I decree God we establish you. I say God we establish you. I say God we establish you. If you believe it shall fire. When you have an encounter, there is something inside of you that, that makes you understand that things have changed. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not just because today is the first Sunday. It's because there was an encounter that preceded this service. I came with all boldness that someone's life is about to be changed. And the God of my Father will show up on your behalf. It will change your situation. It will give you a turnaround. It will lift you beyond limitations in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shakoba. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 27, he said, but the anointing which you have received, it will teach you everything. The anointing is a teacher. 
Baradabasha. The anointing which you have received, it will teach you. The anointing is a teacher. If you may have sense in life, the anointing will teach you. I came because God wants to change someone's life. God wants to change someone's destiny. If you are that person, let me hear a louder amen. Let me hear a louder amen. I say, God will transform your life in this service. Receive the anointing in the name of Jesus. You know, when the anointing came, the Bible said in 1 Samuel 16, 13, it said, and Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed David. He said, and the Spirit of God came upon him. Receive the Holy Ghost. I say, receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. There shall be a turnaround in your life. After this meeting, you shall move forward. You shall progress. You will grow until you become very great. In the name of Jesus. One time, a rebellious son of David called Adonijah, he declared himself a king. And he gathered people with him. Baratashanda. Hallelujah. He gathered men with him. He said, let them go and celebrate his kingship. Hallelujah. In 2 Samuel, chapter 1, I think verse 5. And he gathered these men and they went with him. He did not take Nathan the prophet. Hallelujah. He forgot to take Nathan the prophet. Hallelujah. He forgot to take the priest of God. He did not know kingship is not declaration. It's an anointing. He did not know kingship is not declaration. It is an anointing. Declare yourself king and be the king. Let us see. In the Bible days, we saw from the first king of Israel, the Bible said, and Prophet Samuel, he took the veil of oil and anointed Saul. Hallelujah. When it was a time of David, he came right to his, his father's house and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. It is the anointing that makes men stand out. Adonijah declared himself a king. Hallelujah. In 2 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 21, the, the Bible said, David says something. Oh, Kapadasha. David said something. David said, Saul died like one who was not anointed. Second Samuel chapter 1 and verse 21. He says, Saul expired like one who was not anointed. Ye mountains of Gibor, he said, let there be no dew, neither let there be rain upon you, for fields of the offering, for there the shield of the mighty is vilely. He said, cast away. He said, the, the shield of Saul, as though he had not been anointed with oil. So when men are anointed, there is something called preservation upon their life. You can be anointed as many times as possible. Am I speaking here? By the right person God has put over your life. There is an anointing that can take you off your path. But when God sends a man, if they anoint you 20 times, it's for your benefit. It's for your preservation. Am I speaking to somebody here? As this anointing oil will come, I see God preserve your life. I see God preserve all that concerns you. I see God building a hedge around you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Barakatasa. David was anointed three times, so one time. The first time we saw, 1 Samuel chapter 16 and verse 13. Hallelujah. The second time, Mokotobada. Second Samuel. The second time it was in uh, 2 Samuel chapter 2 verse 4. Hallelujah. 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 13. That was the first anointing he received. Every anointing has a purpose. Hallelujah. The first anointing he received was to set him apart from his family. Hallelujah. The anointing that makes you the head of the family, whether you are the last born, it doesn't matter. When the oil of God comes upon your life, it sets you apart. When the oil of God comes upon your life, it makes you the special one. It makes you the preferred one. You can be the last son, the last, the last daughter, but you will be the breadwinner in the family. Why? Because of the anointing. He anointed him in the midst of his brethren. Hallelujah. The second time he got anointed in 2 Samuel chapter 2 verse 4, the Bible said they anointed him in Judah. Hallelujah. The tribe of Judah. Judah was a, a tribe, a clan. There are people God raised, bring out of your family. There are some families, there are some villages. If you look around, no big man. There are so, a whole village. You check in the politics, nobody. 
In football, nobody. In, even in fighting, nobody. There is no big man. It, why? Nobody has received the oil of God. I stand here as a tool, as a vessel that God has prepared for this service. God will make you stand up from your village. God will make you stand up from your clan. God will make you stand up among your pastors. In the name of Jesus. The third time David was anointed in 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 3. Hallelujah. He said, all the elders of Israel, they gathered together and they anointed him a king over Israel. Hallelujah. This is the anointing that took David from local champion to the national hero. The anointing, remember where he's coming from. He was the boy from the farm. And God sent, he said, demarcate him. From the bush, they made him head. And he didn't stop there. He still received another anointing. This one now is to set him on the nation. I see God raising men here. You will be a national hero. I say God is taking you from wherever you are. He's setting you on high. By this anointing service, there shall be a lifting. I see God lifting you higher. I see God raising you higher. In the name of Jesus. Kobaratasa. When the anointing comes, number one, burdens are lifted. Hallelujah. Burdens are what? When the anointing comes, burdens are what? Lifted. Burdens are what? Lifted. Hallelujah. Isaiah 10, 27. Hallelujah. It shall come to pass in that day. And today is the day. Hallelujah. It shall come to pass in that day. That his body shall be lifted. His body shall be taken away. Why? Because of the anointed. I don't know the burden you have carried all this while. I don't know the weight that is pulling you backward. I don't know the burden that has limited you in life. Today it shall be removed by fire. By this anointing servant, I said they are lifted. I said they are lifted. I said they are lifted. In the name of Jesus. What are burdens? What are burdens? Excess load. Somebody say excess load. Excess load. Those are burdens. Weight. Hard labor. Liability, trouble, problems, affliction. The anointing lifts them up your shoulder. When you carry too much load, you can't run fast. Some people, by reason of this, this burden, this load we are carrying, you can't see speed in life. But I came by the power of God. As the oil of God comes upon your life, body shall be thrown away. That body shall be lifted. I said that body shall be lifted. In the name of Jesus. In Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28. He said, come unto me. All ye that labor. And are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. I said your rest has come. 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 In the name of Jesus. Number two, when the anointing comes, yokes are destroyed. Hallelujah. Somebody say yokes are destroyed. What is a yoke? It's a wooden cross piece. They use it to, to tie animals together. And then they put a plowing machine or a cart so that they can be pulling. This hard labor that looked like everybody in the family was on the same, the same line. It is a yoke that has held everybody on one level. This thing that keeps everybody on the same level, there is a yoke. When the yoke is connected, it's a wooden piece, it's not a rope. So nobody can go ahead of nobody. Everybody is going at the same pace. First to last, everybody, same problem. First to last, same problem. Grandfather to grandchild, they are all the same problem, same predicament. Because there is a yoke. But he said, he said the yoke shall be destroyed. Listen, the anointing doesn't break you, it shatters yoke. If you break it, it can still be repaired. The anointing does what? It shatters yokes. It destroys yokes beyond repair. Hallelujah. Koba In Matthew 28 and verse 18, he said, Jesus came and spoke unto, unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. 
Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus. You will receive anointing today. How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. I decree as you receive the anointing, the Holy Ghost and power takes over your life. The Holy Ghost and power takes over your affair. The Holy Ghost and power take care of everything around you in the name of Jesus. And it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken away and the yoke shall be destroyed. Every yoke upon your life scattered by fire. Every yoke of sickness scattered by fire. Every yoke of sin scattered by fire. Every yoke of delay break and scatter in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shakobalata. God did not want to just break the yoke, destroy the yoke. Hallelujah. He want to destroy the yoke. Hallelujah. Because a yoke keeps people at the same level. Everyone in the family is same predicament. Some are in Europe, some are in Africa, some are in America, some are in Asia. Everybody is same level. There are families, nobody owns a car. And almost all of them are living abroad. In America, they are catching bus. In Europe, they are catching bus. In Asia, they are taking tuk-tuk and bike. In Africa, Okada. The enemy has yoked everybody at the same level. Am I speaking to somebody here? The enemy yoked everybody. It's a piece of wood. It's not bending. So they are walking at the same line. The weak, the strong. The big, the small. The old, the young. It's a wooden piece. They use it. They, they tie it across. They are fastening it across their neck. So they will use their strength to pull whatever they want to pull. The enemy uses yoke to keep people bound. The same way the farmer uses the yoke to use that to ploy his farm. That's how the enemy uses yoke to keep people bound. There is a yoke of sin. That the same way your father lost it, your mother lost it, is the same way you will lose it. There is a yoke of sickness that in a family, everybody from grand, great-grandfather to the child born today, cancer. There are some from everybody, even a newborn baby, high blood pressure. Everybody, newborn baby, the sugar diabetes. Why? It's a yoke. But today, hear me. I came by the power of the Holy Ghost. I decree every yoke that has been in your family, that is replicating in your life, today is destroyed by fire. As it is destroyed by fire. As it is destroyed by fire. Every yoke of sickness, destroyed by fire. Every yoke of addiction, destroyed by fire. Every yoke of frustration, destroyed by fire. Every yoke of limitation upon your life, upon your family, destroyed by fire. If you believe it, shall fire. Oh, Shakoba, Dasha. Any yoke choking you, today mark his end. As you receive the oil of God, it will, it will give way by fire. In the name of Jesus. Number three thing that happens when the anointing comes. There is a total and complete recovery. Somebody say recovery. Somebody say recovery. Say recovery. When the oil of God comes upon a life, there is what? Recovery. In First Samuel chapter 9, if you read from verse 1 to 3, the Bible said, now the, 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 the man lost his, his sheep. Hallelujah. The father of Saul, Kish, he lost his sheep. And he told Saul, he said, take your servant. He said, go now and go and look for the, the sheep. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the asses of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. And Kish said to Saul, his son, take now one of the servants with thee. He said, and arise and go and seek the asses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The asses were missing, and the father said, go and look for the asses. And Saul so, stepped out, and he began to go. The first place he went to was the land. He passed through the land of the Benjamites. Hallelujah. Kobaratashanda. He passed through where? The land of the Benjamites. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He started at Mount Ephraim first. And he passed through Shalisha. Verse 4. Can you continue verse 4? He passed through, the, 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 he passed through Mount Ephraim. He went through Shalisha. And he went to Shalim. That's number 3. He went to the fourth place. And when he, he got to the fifth place, the man gave up. He got tired. Can we read together from verse 4? He said, and where he passed through Mount Ephraim and passed through the land of Shalisha. But they found them not. And they passed through the land of Shalim. 
That's number how many? Number three. And they passed through the land of the Benjamites. That's number what? Number four. He said, but they found them not. Verse five. And they fit. Which is, this is the fit month. Hallelujah. He said, when they were come to the land of Zoph. Somebody said the land of Zoph. What number is that? That's number five. That's a fifth place. He did not understand the number called five is the number of grace. The number called five is the number that makes things turn around. The number five is the number of grace. We are in the fifth month. You cannot give up in this month. You didn't give up in January. You did not give up in February. You didn't give up in March. You didn't give up in April. This is May. It is a month pregnant with grace. It's a month that is able to turn your life around. It got there and he got tired. He said, now my father will be looking for me. Let's go back. When you meet grace, don't go back. Am I speaking to somebody here? It doesn't matter how difficult it took you to get there. When you encounter grace, the fit month, I have come to declare for somebody's life, this month is pregnant with your testimony. I said, this month is pregnant with your breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. He got there. He said, let us return. He said, let's return. And the servant said in verse 6, he said, no, sir. He said, there is a man of God in this town. He said, he's an honorable man. Whatsoever he said, come to pass. Hallelujah. Anything he says, come to pass. When you enter grace, anything can happen. I don't know how you left your father's house. You shall not return back the same. I don't know how you left your house this morning. Maybe you left, you were dragging your body. Maybe you were gathering your body together. When you encounter grace, the grace of God is what makes men stand out. The Bible says, for ye know the grace of God. He said, though though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor. That through his poverty you shall be rich. I decree upon your life. Anywhere you saw limitation by grace, excel. Anywhere you saw limitation by grace, excel. In the name of Jesus. First Corinthians chapter, second Corinthians chapter eight, verse nine. Mano kate Ah, my father. When you encounter grace, nothing can stop you. This is the month of grace. For you know the grace. For you know the grace. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. O that though he was rich, yet for your sakes, yet for our sake, he became poor. Hallelujah. Can you go to the next chapter? Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 now. The grace of God is available to change someone's life. He said, God is able to make all grace abound towards you in every good work. God is able to make all grace, not some grace. Hallelujah. Always having all sufficiency. By grace, receive sufficiency. I said, receive sufficiency in the name of Jesus. So God there, he wanted to return. The servant said, it's good to have good friends around you. People who can order your stop when you initiate your start. It's good to have people that can give you an input that will help you. Don't just have people that anything you say is what they hear. You need people that you can say something to them and, and they too can say something to you. You don't need people around you that, you know, they can't advise you. They can't give you counsel. When you start going and nobody can say anything, you need people that no matter how bad it is, they will tell you, hold on. Am I speaking to somebody here? The servant said, there is a man of God in this town. And they waited on the man of God. If you go to the next chapter, chapter 10 from verse 1. The Bible says, and somewhere took the veil of oil, an anointed soul. He went to look for asses. But there was an anointing that changed every plan. That changed the narrative. He was no longer looking for asses. This time he returned as a king. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter 10 and verse 1. That's what I just said. Copalata. He said, then Samuel took the veil of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him. And said, is it not because the Lord had anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Hallelujah. 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 We continue verse 2 and verse 3. It didn't end there. When the anointing came, we said recovery. Hallelujah. 
He said, when thou art departed from me, today, this today, said, not tomorrow, today. He said, as you live here today, as you live here today, you shall encounter favor. There shall be recovery. I said there will be recovery in the name of Jesus. He said, as you live today, somebody say today, then thou shalt find two men by Rachel's sepulchre in the border of Benjamin, the same area he passed through. He said, at what? Zelza. He said, and they will say unto thee, the asses which thou wentest to seek are found. Somebody say recovery. Somebody say recovery. I don't know what you have lost in your family. I don't know what you lost as an individual, but you are living here restored by fire. Every lost glory shall be restored. Every lost virtue shall be restored. Everything lost shall be found in the name of Jesus. I say everything lost shall be found in the name of Jesus. Whatever your family has ever lost, receive it by fire. Let there be a recovery. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh, Talu Bakasha. Oh, Talu Baradesh. You know, it's good to talk to older people, mature people, sometimes. Their experience puts you in trust. Hallelujah. Their experiences help us. An old woman said, if not for my children, I would have left this marriage a long time ago. He said, she said two things that struck me. He said, the first reason I don't want to leave. He says, because I must see my children grow up. If another woman comes to this house, my children can be thrown out. And their life will be thwarted. He said, that is why I am here. It clicks. And that applies even to men. Men will marry a new woman and they throw their children out. They will make your children so bad before you that you don't want to see them again. It applies to everybody. The woman said, I don't want to leave because he said, by every standard I was supposed to have walked away, but I cannot leave because of my future. The future of my children, the children I have brought forth. That wisdom stayed in my head. Hallelujah. He said, the second reason I don't want to leave is because if I leave, I have created a standard for my children. He said, there will be continuous divorce in the lineage of my children. He said, I will bear the burden so that my children will remain in marriage. Am I speaking to somebody here? The reason why it looks like nobody can marry your family, because your grandmother walked out of marriage. The reason why it looks like nobody can stay in marriage, because your grandfather walked out of marriage. I came for a restoration. I decree whatever was stolen from your family, restored by fire. I said, restore 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 by fire. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Shakopalata. The hand of God is here. There shall be a recovery in your life. Everything you have lost as an individual, I decree, restore, restore, restore. I decree you are restored. They stole your wallet in the dream. They have collected your money. That is why you are seeing difficulties. I decree restore. They stole your documentation in the dream. That is why it looks like you can't have documentation. I decree restore. They stole your car in the dream. That is why all the cars you are buying are giving you trouble. I decree restore. I decree restore. I decree restore. Recover all. Recover all. Recover all. Recover all. In the name of Jesus. The fourth thing before we begin to roll in prayer. The fourth thing that happens when the anointing comes is favor. Somebody say favor. When the anointing comes, favor comes. Hallelujah. Somebody say favor. Say favor. Somebody say favor. Favor. Everyone needs favor. Jesus as human being needed favor. Hallelujah. In Luke chapter 2. And verse 52, the Bible said, and Jesus grew, and he grew in stature. Hallelujah. He grew 
in stature and in favor with both God and with men. Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with man. You need favor with men. You need favor with men. You need favor with men. If you are here in life, nobody has dashed you something. There is a problem. We will correct it today. Somebody has ever given you something for free. You don't know why it's happening. It's happening. You need favor. Somebody say favor. Say I receive favor. In Proverbs chapter 3 verse 4. It says so shall thou find favor and good understanding. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Hallelujah. Favor is important. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. The Bible says, when the turn of Esther came, when the turn of Esther came, many people have lost out on their turn. Maybe because they lack understanding and they lack favor. The Bible says she obtained favor. She didn't have nothing special, but she obtained favor. Am I speaking to somebody here? And that is why she became the queen mother. There is somebody here by the favor of God. In this month, you shall meet your spouse. I said, by the favor of God, in this month, you will meet your helpers. In the name of Jesus. In Luke chapter 1, verse 30, the Bible said, And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Psalms 5, verse 12. Oh, Shako Badata. I love this scripture. It said, Thou shalt encompass the righteous with favor in Kakoba. For thou, Lord, we bless the righteous with favor. With thou compass him as with what? A shield. You are not living here without favor. I say, You are not living here without favor. Carry favor. I say, Carry favor. I say, Carry favor. In 1 Samuel 2 26, the Bible says, And the child somewhere grew. The child somewhere grew. And he had favor. Both with the Lord. Hallelujah. And also with men. You need favor with God and with men. You need favor with God and also with men. You need favor with God and also with men. Hallelujah. Genesis 39, 21. He said, Joseph found favor. Manakasha. The Lord was with Joseph. He showed him mercy and he gave him favor. Favor, it changes life with the keeper of the prison. Genesis 39, 21. Barata. The Lord was with Joseph. He showed him mercy and he gave him favor. Barata. He gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Hallelujah. It don't matter where you find yourself. All you need is favor. 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 Am I speaking to somebody here? You shall go with overdose favor. You shall live here with oversized favor. Receive favor. I say receive favor in the name of Jesus. Some people don't understand this. What is favor? So we can understand. Favor is celestial advantage. Somebody say celestial advantage. What gives you an edge over others? That is favor. Not because of your degree. Not because Joseph did. I didn't, I didn't read any school Joseph went to. He became the governor. That is the favor of God. Hallelujah. He did not go to any school. I'm not saying that people should not go to school. But what I'm saying is, he did not have a quantitative and qualitative reason why he should be in that place. All he had was favor. You shall live here with favor. In the name of Jesus. What is favor? Supernatural preference. Somebody says supernatural preference. When heaven prefers you over those that are better than you, that is favor. When heaven looks at you, he didn't see the criteria. Let me tell you, not all women that are married are beautiful. Can I say that again? Not every woman that, not all the women that are married are beautiful. Can I say it again? So don't give your reason. Say, because I am short, because I am fat. No, sir, no, ma. There are some women that are like ball that you can roll. But yet, their husband love them for who they are. All you need is what? Favor. Celestial. Supernatural preference. Hallelujah. 
What is favor? Favor is flavor. Somebody say flavor. What is favor? Favor is sucrose. Favor is savor. Hallelujah. When God puts favor upon your life, you become the appetite of the right person. You become the choice of that availability. Hallelujah. What is favor? Favor is arrival before the journey. Favor relegates Mokoto Bahasha. Favor does what? Favor relegates regulation. Favor takes away rules. Where they say you have to do this before you do this. Favor scales you over that place and puts you in front. Am I speaking to somebody here? You are about to enter favor. I say you are about to enter favor. You are about to enter favor. In the name of Jesus. What is favor? Favor is marriage without dating. What is favor? Oh, Kakota. Favor is a job without interview. God is about to favor somebody here. I said, God is about to favor you here. God is about to favor someone here. And that person looks just like you. In the name of Jesus. Your, the favor you will receive today, we conclude goodness on your life. We conclude goodness on your family. In the name of Jesus. Listen, favor concludes before the beginning. Hallelujah. Favor does what? Concludes before the beginning. Glory to Jesus. Kabadasha. There are people all their life, everything they know is labor. The, is it bad to work? No, it's not bad to work. What I'm saying is there is another side of life that is better than labor. It's called what? Favor. There is a side in this life. There is Okashona Mahata. There are people, if you, they wear a shoe, they will tell you what salary, which month they got the salary they bought that shoe for. That is labor. There is a place of favor. There is a place of favor. People that get great in life is not about their labor. It's the favor of God. And the favor of God does not check your capacity. When the favor meets you, it changes your life for good. I came with God's favor. God is carrying somebody here from labor to favor. I say God is taking you from labor to favor. I say God is taking you from labor to favor. The Bible says in Daniel 1 verse 9, And God had brought Daniel into tender love and favor. I came to decree and to declare, God is carrying you into favor. In the name of Jesus. I say God is carrying you into favor. In the name of Jesus. When the anointing comes, favor comes. Let me show us something. In that first Samuel chapter 10, let's go back to first Samuel chapter 10. Let's read verse 4 and verse 5. Kubarasha. Just start from verse 3, please. Can we read it together? He said, Then shall thou go on forward from thence, and thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor, and there shall meet thee three men going up to God to better. One carrying three kids, and another carrying three loaves of bread. And another carrying a bottle of wine. Next verse. And they will salute thee and give thee two loaves of bread, which thou shalt receive of their hands. Wait. They were carrying three loaves of bread. If somebody having three gives you one, it's kindness. Somebody has three and they gave you two. That is favor. No, you didn't get that. Someone having three, if they give you one, they are good. Someone having three and gave you two. And there were three of them. Say three of us go manage one. You alone take these two. That is favor. I said that is favor. I don't care about your pedigrees. I don't care about your educational level. There is something that when it comes upon your life, it is a game changer. It's an element of God. It is called favor. I decree over your life, receive favor. I said, receive favor. I said, receive favor. I said, receive favor. I said, receive favor. You might not be the first on the line, but you shall be the best. You shall be the one selected. Favor will stand you out. Favor will stand you out. Favor will stand you out. In the name of Jesus. 
my father, a hey, Kakoba. Sit down. I have seen favor. I have seen favor. I will share a few testimonies. I have seen favor. In 2018, and while we're in the other old church, Kobara Tasha, a woman visited from Africa. After service, she came. Say, man of God, while you were preaching, something told me. Say, my breakthrough is in your hands. He said, I came with this little token of seed. He said, sir, pray for me. And she said that word. Something came upon me called the anointing. And that is what you're about to receive today. And my eyes open. I asked her, who died? She said, my husband. I said, who is dragging you to call? Say, my husband's family. And God said, tell her to leave the property. I don't have a house. I say, yes, that's what God said. I say, what do I do? And the Lord showed me a man. I told him how the man was dressed. He represents some group of people. I said, I saw this man dressed like this. But he worked for the government. I said, this man will change your life. This man is your helper, ordained to help you. Your husband was caught up before his time. And God has ordained this man to help you. She said, sir, that thing you said is true. He's a good man. He works with the government. He said, but I've tried to call that man for more than six months. He will not take my call. P.S. we answer. And they said, he will call you back. I never call. I said, go back. This time, I anointed her. I said, favor. Let the favor of God go with you. Let the favor of God go with you. She said, she returned to, to Africa. She called me. Say, man of God, the thing you said. I said, this man will give you a house. This man will give you a business. And she was surprised, looking at me. I said, is that dash? I said, yes. For free? I said, yes. I said, not just that. It will give you a house. It will give you a business. She went back. And one week later, she called me. He said, I died the man's one. I said, pick up. I said, ah, where have you been? I've been looking for you. She said, I was dumbfounded. The same man I have called for more than six months. Almost every day. Somebody say favor. To God, the long story short, the man gave her a house. The house was not completed. And the woman said, how will I stay in this house? Should I move there like this? The man said, no. Signed contract and gave to her. The very first contract, she made $20,000 profit. How did I know? Is the check that I saw. <laughs> oh, God. No, it wasn't check, it was cash. Shiny notes. Am I speaking to somebody here? That is the sweet part of it. When the testimony came, she said, sir, I am bringing the tithe. Say, now you go chop that one. Hallelujah. And this woman came. She, now, she said, pray for more. <laughs> pray for more. And we prayed. God glorified himself. Hallelujah. I have seen favor. Last year, was it the year before last? The younger came said, I interviewed for immigration. That was in 2021. I interviewed in 2024. I said, we will change it to 2022. And I said, by the favor of God, it shall come to pass. Three months or two months later, she came and said, a letter, they have changed the date. I said, now you need one more thing. The favor to carry you there and pick up the paper. And we decreed on that day. She was about to go. I called her. I said, there shall be no interview. He said, ah, is that, is that bad luck? I said, no. There shall be no interview, but document shall be granted. I see two questions. One is, what is your name? The second is, what is your address? She walked into that interview. It was the way it was. Somebody say, favor. Say, I need favor. Say, I need favor. In 2020, while we were in this same church, a man came to church. He knelt and he was crying, he was crying. I looked at him. And the only God said they have rejected him of documentation. I told him, see me in the office. I told him, I said, you have an interview. They rejected you, say yes. I said, we can change it by favor. I can send favor. And favor will change. You are waiting for rejected notice, right? I said, but this time green card is coming. He said, ah, so if this thing happened, I go build church. I said, leave that story. If this thing happened, I go, this church you are talking about, they want to be, I go build that church. I said, leave that story. When it happens, that's when I will know. It's not here. True. It's not here. It happened. The testimony came. It, oh, Kapalasha. There are witnesses in this house. It, they were waiting for a notice of rejection. He said, doesn't know whether it's deportation coming or whatever coming. I said, green card is coming in the mail. He said, they denied me in front of my lawyer. I said, I am telling you that the favor of God is changing that report. Three weeks later, the lawyer called him. He said, in my whole legal career, I've never seen this. 
that they reject you and then they give you green card. He came in the down. And today he's not in church. <laughs> I have seen favor. I have seen favor. Do you think God did not know him? God knew that he would be like this. But yet, the favor of God went ahead of him. Hallelujah. Can I give you more? A wonderful brother in the church here. He was about to send his fight to the immigration. I laid my hands. I said, favor. He sent it. They, I said, there shall not be interview. There was no interview. Ten years green card came. Oh, no, you have no help. He's here in the church. Hallelujah. Ten years came. No interview. Two Sundays ago, as I was ministering, the Holy Ghost was taking my eyes to one of our sisters. He said, release favor upon her life. Release favor upon her life. And I, as I was done preaching, I called her. I said, favor, 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 favor. I'm sure everybody was that. What is happening with Pastor today? And she left. The next day, she had an interview. No interview. She had a meeting with the judge, immigration judge. And she came. The case was decided before she got there. Somebody say favor. I don't know your case. I have come to speak over your life. Receive favor. I said 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 receive favor. In the name of Jesus. Somebody ready to pray. Oh, Kapala Dabasha. I have to pray for us. Lift up your hands. Say, My Father, my Father. My Father. My Lord, as I begin to pray, Lord, begin to in pray. the name of Jesus, as I receive anointing today. Let every body be lifted. Let every body be lifted. And every yoke be destroyed from my life by fire. Clap your hands and pray. Shalata <laughs> In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to in, pray. The name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. As I receive your anointing today. As I receive your anointing. As you anoint, today, anoint me afresh. As you anoint me afresh. In my life. In my life. Let every loss bet you. Let every loss. Lost glory. Lost glory. Lost destiny. Lost destiny. Be restored by fire. Be restored by fire. Whatever I have lost. Whatever. All I that lost. I have lost. All that let, I have it lost. Let, it let it be restored. Let it be restored. Let it be restored. Let it be restored. Clap your hands and pray. Shakapala.
give me favor. Release favor upon my life. Release favor upon my life. Release favor upon my affairs. Release favor upon all that concerns me. Lift up your voice, turn it to prayer. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Sing, you are Jehovah. Sing, you are Jehovah. Hey, you are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Say you are Jehovah. Say you are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Say you are Jehovah. Oh, you are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. speak over every life here. The favor of God that makes men to stand out. Let it come upon you like fire. Amen. Let it come upon every life here by fire. Amen. Let it come upon every life here by fire. Amen. Father, where is that man? Where is that woman? Where is that boy, that girl? The one you said you want to favor in this meeting. The one you said you want to settle in this meeting. I declare upon your life, receive favor. Amen. I said, receive favor. Amen. Receive favor Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit. Father, release your favor upon your people. Favor with men. Favor with God, 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 favor with the authorities. Favor with God, favor wherever your name is written. I decree favor. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know what you have lost in life. There shall be a recovery after this anointing service. Amen. You shall recover all. Amen. You shall recover all. Amen. You are recovering all. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every yoke, every body, the yoke is scattered. Amen. The yoke is destroyed. Amen. The yoke is destroyed. Amen. The yoke is destroyed. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you thanks and praise. Ancient of days, we are born. Blessed be your holy name, Abba Father. We give you praise and glory. We give you all the adoration. You are God all by yourself. I saw some things I want to pray for three sets of people I just saw. Who are losing things in the dream? Come here quickly. Let me anoint your hand. You will not lose anything. You have lost things. Some lost their purse, lost their bag, lost things, lost this, lost whatever you have lost in the dream. Come, let me anoint your hand. 
you will not lose anything. I say you will not lose anything. Amen. You will not lose anything. Amen. You will not lose anything. Amen. This is not all the people. I saw, I saw like five people under that. You are losing things in your dream. If you have ever lost anything in your dream, come quickly. I saw five people. I see sitting. Come here quickly. Come here quickly. Come and take that thing because that is how the enemy collects it. God bless you, mommy. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, bada, bada. Father, I decree over these lives. Whatever the enemy stole in the dream, I decree a recovery. As you receive the anointing today, recover all. Amen. You will not lose anything in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say you will not lose anything in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not lose anything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, faithful Father. I decree, recover all. Amen. Recover all in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Recover all in 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 the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, my God. Recover all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Recover all in the name of Jesus. Amen. I just had that instructor again. Say, I just, lift up your hand. Say, favor. Favor, 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 receive favor, in the name of Jesus. Favor! Amen. Favor! Amen. I decree favor. I decree favor. I decree favor. By the oil of my ordination, by the grace upon the life of my father, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, I decree favor. Amen. I decree favor. Amen. I decree favor. Amen. I decree favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be careful. Listen, I cannot be careful. Be careful. That kind of favor, small boys will propose to you to marry you. Amen. I say favor. Amen. I say favor. Amen. I say favor. Amen. I don't know where you are. You need that favor. Receive favor. Amen. 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 By the favor of God, your doors are open. Amen. I heard something. There are people you submit immigration documents for many years. For a long time, you have not heard something. And the Lord said, He said, by favor, you will begin to receive meals. He said, by favor, you will begin to receive meals. He said, there are some, they gave you many years as interview. He said, this year, you will receive a change of date. He said, this year, you will receive favor. You will receive favor. You will receive favor. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I saw fire on a car. I saw fire on a house. I hear I hear by counseling. Amen. Your house will not be on fire. Amen. Your car will not be on fire. Amen. No casualties in your life. Amen. In this month of May, only promotion. Amen. Only prosperity. Amen. Only elevation. Amen. Only promotion. Amen. Only prosperity. Amen. Only elevation. Amen. I release favor. Amen. Deliver by favor. Amen. Carry your children by favor. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I see, I see dates, interview dates given to people. There are some people, your case, in fact, you, you are praying God that they should not call the case. Because it doesn't make sense. But hear me. God will so give you favor. 
that before you walk into the interview, the document is already released. Amen. I decree in this year 2023, God will show up for your family. Amen. God will show up for you. Amen. I release favor. Amen. I release favor. Amen. If you are single, receive your husband by favor. Amen. Receive your wife by favor. Amen. Receive documentation by favor. Amen. If you have businesses from now, you are the best among your past. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We can't lift up your hand. Amen. Father, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, enter our family. Amen. I saw a grave open up. I saw your mom. We pray. She will not die. Amen. She will not die. Amen. They have written her off. Amen. They have already concluded. She will not die. Amen. I said she will not die. Amen. She will not die. Amen. She will not die. Amen. Amen. She will not die. 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 Amen. I said she will not die. Amen. God, we add to her life. Amen. And this thing they said they cannot cure. I change it. Amen. 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 I decree today, let the hand of God come upon her. Amen. Let the Lord make her whole. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Your mom will not die. Amen. She will leave. Amen. She will leave. Amen. She will leave. Amen. She will not die before her time. She will leave. Amen. She will leave. Amen. I said she will leave. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. The hand of God is touching her. Amen. Make it happen. Amen. Do not bury your loved ones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Tali Kabadashanda. So doors open.